That is some Mercury retrograde realness right there. Wow. <laughs> Coming in strong. Am I right? That's hardcore. <clears throat> Mercury is like, <laughs> you didn't think I wasn't going to fuck with you? Um, I hope you enjoyed that impression. <laughs> Thank you all <laughs> of those who are here live who rejoined the second live. It's literally all of you. You're all icons. Um, okay, <laughs> so we're here. Hopefully there's not another disaster. Um, you know, sometimes we just got to stay humble, get put in our place. Remember that we're just human beings having a human experience. And there's a big, big universe around us, right, guys? <clears throat> Okie dokie. So hi, thanks for being here today. I'm Alden Gagnon of Alden's Energy Healing, and this is my weekly cards and crystals installment where I do an intention setting, a sound bath, a card pull, and then a crystal prescription for the energies of the week. And today, for those folks, the lovely folks who are on live with me, as we know, it is Mercury retrograde, and it's been in Merc Mercury has been in retrograde for about four days now, and <clears throat> basically what that means is that we are passing Mercury on Earth in the orbit, and so it looks like Mercury is going backwards. All the different planets go into retrograde. Mercury just goes into retrograde the most often because it's the closest one to the sun, so it orbits the fastest. And, um, uh, yeah, whenever Mercury is in retrograde, basically Mercury is the god of communication. It just means that, like, things with communication and technology might get messed up, as we just witnessed here on this live. And we also might have energetic frustrations or just, like, a hard time getting across what we want to say, feel like we're not saying the right thing, don't sign contracts during this time. I'm sure most of you watching, like, know the basics of Mercury Retro, but... It's always important to acknowledge it. And again, hashtag stay humble. <clears throat> All right. So we are met. Thank you for being here today. I will be using the Sacred Earth Oracle. And we will start off with a lovely intention candle. And this Cards and Crystals is a little later than normal both time-wise and week-wise because I was off camping in the Hudson River Valley and in southern Massachusetts so that was really lovely um rainy but still very nice to be in nature and if there's anything I got out of this weekend it is that we really 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 need to honor our sacred feminine energy and that our our ancestors our maternal line our grandmothers our great-grandmothers our mothers Fe feminine ancestors from literally thousands of years ago they're all here for us and they're all supporting us and they just want you to listen you know and trauma that they had we are holding in our womb space and it's just so so important to honor that and to listen to it and to also move through it so that's my intention for this week is to listen to my sacred feminine energy I'm actually, it's very synchronistic because tonight I'm starting the um, Witch Wound course, the honey womb, Honeyed Womb um, by Sacred Ancestry. So I'm excited to delve deeper into that and into my feminine essence. So that's my intention for this week. And please send your intention into this candle. It smells like acorn spice. And I'm sending Reiki into it, and it's just supporting whatever your intention is for this week. It could be something simple, like literally just breathing. It could also be self-support, you know, all of the things. <clears throat> so send your intention into this lovely candle, and it is supported by the universe, despite Mercury Retrograde. All right, now I will do the sound bath to clear the space.
you both. One really beautiful thing about this um, singing bowl, every time I've done it in Cards and Crystals, it's like the container that we create for this. We're all just really ready to release what no longer serves us. And that's so important, you know? I see we have um, Lucy's uh, intention for this week is staying present. I love that. <clears throat> that's always a really, really good intention to have. And I'm just going to also do this spell. Just really clearing around your energy field. Alright, whatever this car is really wants to be. Card is really wants to be on the top. Alright. Unity. Great. Great fam. Okay, so I love how this sort of like fire angel is holding the earth. And uh, I think it's funny because we're all going through this experience of Mercury retrograde together. Like it literally impacts everyone, whether we're conscious of it or not, or have a name for it or not. Yes, again, this is from the Sacred Earth Oracle deck. And it's like we're all, we're all unified. We're all connected. We're all divine beings having this experience on Earth. And it's up to us to be able to really support each other, deal with this stuff with humor, uplift each other, and take our time to heal the earth together. There we go. I finally found the card in the guidebook. Thank you. And this rub is from VS many years ago. All right. <clears throat> Insight. According to the Big Bang Theory, all existing matter and energy appeared and exploded from a single point about 15 billion years ago. Gravity worked its magic to pull simple elements together and form giant stars. These exploded to birth the galaxies. In one of these galaxies, a cloud of dust fell into debris and uh, fell into orbit around a dwarf star. Dust became rocks, which became asteroids. The larger the object, the larger its gravitational pull. And when the dust finally settled, it formed the planets of our solar system. On one of those pla planets, through swelling and heaving of natural forces, life began, consciousness arose. You came to be here, and there is still the same amount of energy and matter in the universe as there was in that first moment when we were all one. Something is happening in the chat. <clears throat> um casually singing we're all in this together from high school musical very very funny katie i love that <laughs> so yeah we're all in this together we're all from the same energy we all come from the same place and it's like obviously we all have different experiences on earth you know but like at the at the end of the day we all come from the same source and it says see your worth and the value of others a refusal to accept less than equal footing in a partnership, an assumption, a bias, or other barrier could hinder a fair outcome. Strive for reciprocity, connect through differences. Empowerment, oh, I like this line, empowerment is a better strategy than seeking power. Act now for the long-term benefit of your loved ones. Peace is not somewhere in the future. It is here. Trust. Let go. Be present. That's Lucy's. Uh thing be present and it will find you present is the point from which life flows all is born will die and be reborn into this moment all is present in the now so it's basically about connecting to the unifying spiritual force being present in the moment and honoring the energy that we come from and that we will go back to um so Man, you guys, I don't, I don't even know what to do right now. I'm like so shook from all, all the stuff that's been happening. Uh, but <clears throat> I think this is our guy today. So this is Aragonite. And it is, I'm glad this message is resonating with y'all. I read all of the sections just in case one of them resonated with someone more. Uh, but this is Aragonite. And 
It is a solar plexus chakra crystal and it, as you can see, it really shines out into all different directions and I always say aragonite helps you shine like the star you are and it also kind of goes along with the big bang theme and really how energy flows out in all directions and you are supported by the energy of the universe and it's like your personal reserves of energy like in your body aren't endless you know you need to feed yourself and get sleep and reset to get more energy but you can always get more energy from somewhere and then it's also about giving that energy so you're in a constant state of flow someone just commented the um infinity symbol so it's like you're always you know being infinitely guided by the divine infinitely supported by the divine and how can you be in the present moment so now I'm just taking this aragonite which helps support your energy and your confidence and your energetic field and speaking up for yourself and that sense of vibrancy and we're just taking it and putting it in a uh, infinity symbol. I actually had a vision of this being over like starting at my heart chakra and going down to my sacral chakra so it's like heart solar plexus sacral solar plexus heart solar plexus sacral solar plexus you know what i mean and um i'm just really connecting those energy centers and recharging yourself using this energy as a way to recharge that's why i love reiki so much which stands for universal energy that's what it means in japanese and um it's a way to recharge. We can download energy from the universe to fill ourselves up as we are moving through life on this physical plane. Yeah, I'm getting chills as I'm doing this. I'm glad that this is resonating with you so much. Um, I'm glad this feels good for you guys. Thank you. I, um, I don't work with herbs personally, like in the sense I'm not an herbalist but I do utilize herbs a lot. Like I'm literally, here, I'm just, wait, let me, let me close this one second before I answer your question. Just really connecting to that infinite energy of the universe, that infinite universal support that's always around you and inside of you and you can draw from and give from. And so it is, and so it is, we are unified. Hmm. So yeah, aragonite. Oh, my card disappeared. I believe my dog is asleep on the card. So that's what that is. But the card was unity. You saw it. This is aragonite. <laughs> and then to answer your question, I I'm not an herbalist. Like I don't know an apothecary or anything. But I do work with herbs. Um, I the farm stay I was at this weekend. Uh, they filled this with apple mint, red clover, and peonies, so I've been drinking this infused water, and I drink lots of herbal tea, like red raspberry leaf, and stuff like that, if you want to, and I will see you on Sunday at 4pm for a regularly scheduled Cards and Crystals. Alright, thank you.